viewers of Madhili Channel. Welcome to another episode of our series entitled Virtues of Dua, wherein we cover different aspects of Dua. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal, today we will be mentioning those righteous deeds, those good actions. If we are busy in doing them, then there is no need to make Dua, meaning those actions take all of our time. We are busy in doing those actions that they even take the time to make supplication in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still does not deprive that person. In fact, He gives that individual who is busy in these a'mal more than those who ask from Him as well. Allahu Akbar. How beautiful is our deen. Before that, let us mention a fadila, an excellence of reciting peace and blessings upon the Prophet ﷺ. Beloved ﷺ states, if he wants to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a state that Allah is pleased with him, Allah is happy with him, he has attained the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he should recite Duru Sharif, peace and blessings upon me in abundance. Subhanallah. The views of Madhini channel, just ask yourself, is there anything more valuable than seeking and attaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course not. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us one drop of His mercy, then this is sufficient for us. This is enough for us. Then we will enter paradise and become worthy of His bounties as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to recite peace and blessings in abundance. For this is a means of attaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So today we'll be mentioning those actions, those a'mal saliha those righteous, those good actions, those good deeds. If somebody is successful in performing them and he is busy in performing them, then he is not required to make dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept his du'as just based on him performing those actions. So what are those a'mal? What are those actions? You're probably curious. Inshallah, Azza wa the wait is over and I will mention them now. The first thing that Mawlana Naqi Ali Khan, Ali Rahmatu Rahman, mentions in his book Al-Jawahir is that somebody who is busy in the recitation of Durood Sharif Somebody who is busy in reciting peace and blessings upon the Prophet ﷺ, he is in not in need of making supplication. By virtue of his recitation of Durood Sharif, by being busy and engrossed in reciting peace and blessings, peace and salutations upon the Prophet ﷺ, his lawful du'as will be accepted. Hazrat Ubay bin Ka'b radiyallahu ta'ala He once came to the court of the Prophet ﷺ, and he made a request. He said, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after I perform my obligatory actions, my namaz, fasting, ibadah, fulfilling the rights of others, those whose rights are upon me, I would like to spend the rest of my time sending peace and blessings upon you. So if I spend a fourth of my time, what's your opinion about this? The Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَإِنْ zitta فَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكَ If you increase it, Meaning, if you send peace and blessings upon me for longer than this, then this is better for you. Thereafter, the Sahabi Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he requested, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what if I spend a third of my time, a third of my time, and I devote it to Durood Sharif, peace and blessings? The Prophet Ali Sallallahu replied, as much as you want. 
But if you recite peace and blessings upon me for longer than this, a longer time than this, then this is better for you. And then again, the Sahabi, he makes a request, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what about half my time? If I spend half my time reciting peace and blessings upon you. And the Prophet Ali Wasallam again answered in the same manner. He said, as much as you like, but if you spend more time than this, then this is even better for you. And in the end, the Sahabi had no choice but to say, out of love for the Prophet Ali Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after completing my oblig obligations, namaz, roza, looking after my family, those things which are necessary for me, I will spend all of my time reciting peace and blessings upon you. And the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied and said, if you do this, if you are successful in doing this, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will remove all your difficulties for the sake of this Duru Sharif and your sins will be forgiven as well. Subhanallah, they've used the Madin channel. We are given a cure here, a remedy, a formula. If we want our life full of peace and blessings, if we want a life full of serenity, tranquility, we do not want problems to come close to us, then recite peace and blessings upon the Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And whoever is successful in following this Sahabi, Sayyiduna Ubay bin Ka'b radiyallahu an, in devoting all his time to recitation of Duru Sharif, Inshallah Azza wa Jal, he will have no need to supplicate in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the ulama have stated, one who is busy in reciting peace and blessings, he does not have to make dua, his duas will be accepted because of the Rushrif. Subhanallah. Another thing, another action, another deed, if one busies himself in doing it, Inshallah, he will not need to pray. His du'as will be accepted. His lawful desires will be fulfilled. What is that thing? The ulama mentioned, Dhikrullah. It is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Somebody is busy in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not have to supplicate. He does not have to make du'a in the court of Allah azza wa jal. His du'as will be accepted. And this is not something that I have said from my own self. The hadith chief of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa found in Bayhaqi. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Man shagalahu dhikri an mas'alati. Whoever is kept from making du'a to me because of dhikr, because of remembering me, whoever doesn't have the time to ask from me because he is constantly remembering me, then what is the reward? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala states, "A'atayhu afdal ma a'tisaimin." Subhanallah. I grant that person who is busy in my remembrance, he doesn't have time to supplicate to me. I grant him more than I grant those who ask for me. Those whose hands are raised in my court, I grant this person who is busy in my dhikr, more than I grant those who ask for me. Allahu Akbar. I would like to clear something here. We have this concept that dhikr is only performed by the tongue. That this is the only form of dhikr. This is completely wrong, my dear views of Madini channel. In fact, the ulama have mentioned stages of zikr, different types of zikr. Imam Fakhruddin Razi Rahmatullah mentions, الذكر على سبعة أنحائن That zikr remembrance is of seven types. The first type, ذكر العينين البكاء He mentions that the zikr, the remembrance of the eyes, is crying in the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the love of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's a hadith sheet that supports this. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, eyes, there are such eyes which the fire of hell will not even touch, will not even come close to. Which eyes are those? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, the eyes which cry due to the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, due to the khawf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they cry out of fear for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fire of hell will not even touch them. Subhanallah. So, dhikrul aynayni al buka'u. The dhikr of the eyes is crying. Next, he mentions, dhikrul udhunayni al isra'u. The remembrance of the ears, udhunayn, is al isra, listening. Listening to what? Listening to the Quran of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet ﷺ, on one occasion, 
he said to his Sahabi, Iqra alayya, recite the Quran to me. I want to hear recitation of the Quran. And that Sahabi replied, Ya Rasulullah, Aqra'u alayka, you want me to recite the Quran to you? Wa alayka unzila, whilst the Quran was revealed to you? And listen to the reply of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. Look at his love for the Quran Sharif. He said, Inni uhibbu an asma'ahu min ghayri. I love to hear the Quran Sharif from others. Subhanallah al -Azim. Today, what are we busy listening to? We are listening to music. We are listening to things that are unlawful. We're not allowed to even listen to them. The Sahabi states that when I was reciting the Quran Sharif, I looked towards the Prophet Sallallahu and I saw that his eyes were flowing with tears. His eyes were flowing with tears. Because the Prophet Sallallahu comprehended the Quran. He understood the Quran. He was the greatest alim of the Quran. He knew about the power of the Quran. And he was crying whilst listening to the recitation of the Quran. SubhanAllah. We should also make an effort to recite and listen to the Qur'an Sharif, insha'Allah Azza wa Another type of zikr, Imam Razi mentions, Dhikr lisani al-thana'u Dhikr of the tongue is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to praise Allah Azza wa Jal. Now we learn in the hadith sharif of the Prophet والسلام, about how easy it is to attain the trees of paradise, to have trees of paradise planted for us. The Prophet وسلم, said, whoever recites Subhanallah once, a tree is planted in paradise for him. Subhanallah. Whoever recites Alhamdulillah once, one tree is planted in paradise for him. Whoever recites Allahu Akbar once, a tree is planted for him in paradise. Whoever recites La ilaha illallah once, a tree of paradise is planted for him. How easy is this? We waste time in actions which are non-beneficial. We waste our time. And you hear youngsters today say, let's kill some time. Showing that they don't have no value for time. They don't know the importance of time. Killing some time, meaning let's waste time. Whereas the righteous people of Allah, they know about time management. They know that every single second is important. Every breath that we take, we cannot regain it. So they were busy, their tongues were moist in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So dhikr lisani at thanaw Dhikr of the tongue is to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to perform his dhikr, to praise him and attain trees in paradise. Remember, if trees are planted for us in paradise, then of course we're going to end up there. How can it be that trees are ready for us in paradise and we do not enter it? This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. Another type of dhikr. Dhikr al-yadayni al ata'u Dhikr of the hands is al ata giving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being generous, bestowing upon others. And again, this is a great act in Islam, being generous, giving to others, those who are in need, fulfilling their needs. as sakhiyu qareebun min Allah. Sakhi, the generous person, is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The generous person, qareebun min al-jannah. He is close to paradise. Qareebun min al-nas. He's close to the people. The people love him. People know that he is beneficial to them. Khairun nasi may yanfa'un nas. The Prophet ﷺ said, the best of people are those who are the most in terms of benefit to others. They give the most benefit to others. And as for the stingy person, the hadith states that he is far from Allah. Ba'idun min Allah. Ba'idun min al-jannah. He's far from paradise. Ba'idun min al-nas. He's far from the people. Qareebun min al-nar. He is close to the hellfire. And what did he say about the Sakhi? Qareebun min al-jannah. He is close to paradise. Ba'idun min al-nar. He is far away from the hellfire. Look at the contrast. Look at the opposites. The generous person and you have the stingy person. So giving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is also dhikr, dhikr of the hands. May Allah enable us to do so. Imam Razi continues and he says, Dhikr al-Badani al-Wafa'u. The dhikr, the remembrance of the body is being loyal. Being a loyal slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
realizing that we were created for worship. We must be humble in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at Amir Ahlul Sunnah Dawud Barakatun Aliyah. He's in his 60s and his worship is more than ours. We consider ourselves as young Muslims. But he being in his 60s, Damat Barakatum Al-Aliyah, he performs more worship than us. He knows the value of worship. He knows that we must be loyal. We must be true slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prays the worshippers. And he says they are those, he praises the believers, he says they are those who remember Allah while standing, while sitting, even whilst lying on their sides. الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَىٰ جُنُوبِهِمْ Those who remember Allah standing, those who remember Allah sitting, those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resting on their sides. Allahu Akbar. So dear viewers of Madani channel, we must also make sure that our life does not go to waste. We do not waste the energy that we have in useless actions, in actions that will not benefit us at all. Rather we perform the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by performing ibadah, by showing that we are true and loyal slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah azza wa jalla. What about the next type of zikr? Zikr al qalbi al khawfu wal raja'u. Remembrance of the heart. This is another type of remembrance. And what is the remembrance of the heart? Fear and being hopeful in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fearing the punishment of Allah and hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we find that this was found in our elders. The likes of Shaykh al-Islam, Imam Nawawi rahmatullah alayhi. One day he is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is heard that he is com continuously reciting the verse وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ That on the day of judgment, Allah will order the angels to stop the criminals. Stop the wrongdoers. وَقِفُوهُمْ Stop them. Do not let them move from here. Innahum mas'ulun. Indeed, they will definitely be asked. And the seventh type of dhikr mentioned by Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahmatullahi he mentions dhikr al ruhi at taslimu wa rida. What is the remembrance of the soul? He mentions that the seventh type of dhikr is the remembrance of the soul. It is handing yourself over, it is submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm being pleased with whatever he has decreed. Not complaining in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowing that everything that happens, happens for a reason. Allah is wise. Allah is hakim. And fi'lul hakimi la yakhlu anil hikmah. The action of a wise person is not free of wisdom. He knows what he has decided. And being content with this. Not complaining. Being reliant upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Accepting. Being pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what situation he's placed in. The Prophet ﷺ said, Qad aflaha man aslama. Whoever submitted in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has indeed succeeded. He is successful. Wa ruziqa kafafan. And he will be granted sustenance which will be sufficient for him. It will suffice him. He will have blessings in that sustenance. And the Prophet ﷺ states, وَقَنَّعَهُ اللَّهُ بِمَا آتَاهُ Whatever Allah Jalla wa Ala gives to him, whatever he bestows upon him, he will be content with that. He will be happy with that. He won't always demand more. هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدٍ Is there more? Is there more? No. Whatever Allah gives him, he's happy. He's happy with his Lord in all cases, all situations. So these, my dear viewers on Madhini channel, are the seven types of zikr, such a vast topic. And again, we realize that zikr is not limited to the tongue. There are many forms of zikr. Now the third thing, the third action, the third righteous action that the ulama state, if somebody is busy in that action, then he is not in need of making dua. His duas will be accepted. And that action is reciting the Holy Quran Sharif. It's reciting the noble Quran. This Quran that was revealed upon the blessed heart of the Prophet ﷺ. It's the greatest book. In terms of all the scriptures, all the books revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the greatest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has taken it upon himself to protect this book. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. So remember, reciting the Quran is something that only the fortunate Muslims do today. 
There was a time when all the Muslim homes, they would appoint a time, a portion of time of their day to the recitation of the Quran. The families would gather. Like the sound of buzzing bees, you would hear the sound of Quran Sharif coming from the houses. But today, only once in the month of Ramadan Sharif do we take the Quran Sharif. We blow the dust off the gilaf, off the cover, and we recite it and think that we have done a very great act. Throughout the year, we neglect this book. We don't try to understand it. We don't try to comprehend it. But remember, this is the Quran Sharif that our beloved Ali Wasallam loved. It was so dear to him. As mentioned earlier, he used to ask other Sahaba Ikram to recite the Quran Sharif to him. He loved hearing the Quran Sharif. He loved reciting the Quran Sharif. His prayers were so long that his feet would swell. He would continue reciting the Quran Sharif in his prayers. What about me and you, viewers of Madin Shalom? How much time do we give to the Quran Sharif? When was the last time we picked up the Noble Quran and actually read it, tried to understand it? So the Quran Sharif, if we are busy in reciting it, inshallah, our du'as will be accepted. And again, those claimants, those who people who claim to love the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, their claim can only be true if they love the Quran. Sayyiduna Imam Qadi Iyad rahmatullahi in Shifa Sharif, he states, "Alamatu hubbi Rasuli." Quran, a sign of the love for the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is love for the Quran Sharif. Someone claims, "I love the Messenger of Allah alaihi wasallam. I will sacrifice everything for him," but he doesn't read the book that was revealed to the Prophet alaihi salatu wasallam. He doesn't reveal that book regarding which the Prophet alaihi salatu wasallam said, "Khairukum man taallam al Quran wa allama." The best amongst you are those who learn the Quran and teach it to others. The Prophet alaihi salatu wasallam said, "I desire, I wish that Surah Mulk." Be in the heart of every believer. These 30 verses, I want every believer to memorize them. If someone dis- abandons the Quran Sharif, how can he be true in his love, in his claim to love the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? So dear views of Madani Channel, today we heard about those actions which if we busy ourselves in, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will accept our du'as. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala we fulfill our lawful du'as, even if we don't make supplication. Why? Because we are busy in those actions which are very dear in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the recitation of the Ruh Sharif, peace and blessings. That is dhikrullah, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is recitation of the noble Qur'an. Alhamdulillah, as we have been doing in our series so far, at the very end we try to memorize a short du'a. The du'a for today. Whenever we sit down to eat, we should make Sure that we recite the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before we eat his blessings, his bounties, those things which he has bestowed upon us as favors. Food is a big favor. Ask those people who do not have access to food. They do not know where the next meal is going to come from. Whenever we sit down, we should recite the following dua. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. Again, a very short dua that can be easily memorized and implemented in our daily lives. So until the next episode, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to busy ourselves in those actions which do not require supplication in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are successful in busying ourselves in the Ruh Sharif, reciting the Ruh Sharif, reciting the Quran Sharif, Dhikrullah, then we will not have to supplicate in the court of Allah. Allah will grant us more than he grants those who ask from him. So until next time, continue watching Madani channel. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his mercy upon us and enable us to act upon what has been said. Ameen bijahin nabiyyi al-ameen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The essence of ibadah Dua